On Walk TV, the first week of school, a new headmaster for DHS. It's been a long process. An expanded computer lab. It's awesome. A relief for frequently tardy students. If someone's going to be tardy, they're going to be tardy. A TV studio under construction. This a studio been in place for probably about a year. And a home football game away from home. We all have it together as one branchy high, one Walt Nation. Hello and welcome to the first episode of WAMP TV for the 2017 to 2018 school year. I'm Emily Linsky. And I'm Pat Sullivan. Students returning to BHS this year are being greeted by a new yet familiar face in House One. Andrew and Nick have the story. There's been a shift in power in House One. Mr. Larkin, who has worked in the school for many years in the History and Special Ed Department, now holds the position of Housemaster for House One. It took years of hard work to earn the position, but he persevered. It's been a, it's been a long process. Um, I graduated from Braintree High School in 2002. I went to UMass Dartmouth to be a teacher at the time. I didn't realize I would be back in Braintree. I was in the History Department for eight years, so I was in the Special Ed Department for two years, and then this opportunity presented itself. The former House One Housemaster and current Headmaster, Mr. Dellery, is happy for his successor and knows his skills will come in handy. Uh, his head might be spinning, but that's partially because it's the first week of school. With those experiences, both his experience in the classroom as well as his experience working with kids in the Compass program, I think he's really got some great experiences that he can draw on in the, in the new role as housemaster. Mr. Larkin has his work cut out for him, but he certainly has the chops for it. Reporting for WAMP TV, this has been Andrew Higgins and Nick Bythrow. The class of 2021 is here, and each new freshman in the building is carrying around their own personal computer from classroom to classroom. But those aren't the only new computers in the building. Justine, Liani, and Caitlin take another, a look at another new computer lab. New computers have arrived at BHS's Music Lab, and more than 20 new MacBooks were added. This new change has piqued the interest of many, and they see the positive influence the Music Tech Lab will be bringing for their classes. It's, it's awesome because those are wonderful machines, um, and they, they're much better for audio um, so the kids are on task more and just learning way more than we ever have before although this transition is a new experience for the students everyone wants to get some use out of them including those within the language department we're going into like more high-tech stuff right now so it's interesting well i'm very excited just because um the language lab that we have is uh, running down and it doesn't oftentimes it doesn't work and so the music lab has the, you know, the Macs, and uh, they're just much more reliant, and the program is much better. There is hope that this change will be the next step toward breaking down language barriers within BHS. Reporting for WAMP TV, this is Caitlin Bucci, Liani Torres, and Justine McDonald. Everyone is late to school at least once or twice a year, but some more than others. The housemasters have decided to get together and make a few adjustments on this policy. Ben and Marty took the time to sit down with students and staff to talk about this change. As the new school year kicks off, a new tardy rule has been put in place. So they're changing now to at 3 is the warning, 5 is office detention, 8 is the extended day detention, and 11 is Saturday school. Some students feel that the new rule will help with red lights and morning coffee runs. Uh, well knowing that I get more leeway, I really enjoy it as I am frequently late to the school. I know all the rules and having a new one that gives me more leeway to be late. I, uh, I really appreciate that. The administration at BHS is hopeful that the policy will help some, but feel that regardless, there will be students that exceed the tardy limit. It'll help the person who maybe hit the, hit the traffic light the, at the wrong time, but uh, if someone's going to be tardy, they're going to be tardy. As someone who got six tardies in two weeks last year, I'm pretty good with it. I, I just found out about the rule, but I'm, I'm liking it so far. This untested policy hopes to benefit BHS students and faculty. Reporting for WAMP TV, this is Ben and Marty signing off. For sophomores like me, Braintree High has always had this show, WAMP TV, but the truth is that WAMP TV is only in its third year and has been growing slow and steady, and this year we're making a big leap. And Pat, Sean, and I are inviting you to take a peek behind the curtain. The broadcast journalism course at Braintree High School has been expanding since 2012 with help from the crew at BCAM.
When Dave Swanton was the headmaster, you know, several years ago, five, six years ago, he came to us and asked if, uh, if we'd be interested in teaching a class or holding a class here in the studio. It went pretty well, uh, and Rebecca Fredericks came and said, well, could, could we do a, another class? So that's when Mr. Nellis got involved. As the program grew, more space was needed for the class to keep improving. This is when the idea of a WAMP TV studio was born. Plans for the studio have been in place for probably about a year. Um, the lighting grid was put up, the uh, track for the curtain, for the site curtain was put up, uh, and then it's pretty much going to be just bringing the, uh, the equipment up. Students are looking forward to the new opportunities to come with their own space. Uh, I'm really excited for the new studio. I think it's a great way for us to be able to use this as a place to film and express our ideas and it's going to be a lot easier to film episodes rather than having B cam time and like so we're going to be able to make it our own space. Reporting for WAMP TV, this has been Pat Sullivan, Sean Morin and Bridget Hines. All right. Hey, it's Marty from your Varsity Football Wamps, and I'm still pretty pumped up about our opening victory versus Quincy, but something about our home opener did seem a little unfamiliar. This past Friday, the varsity football team took a field trip for their season opener against Quincy High. While the Wamps weren't able to kick off the season at home, they still came to play at Archie's Field. We came here to defeat. That's all we came to do. We did succeed. Due to safety regulations, the bleachers at Alumni Stadium could not be used, but the Womp Nation didn't let a little obstacle get in their way of showing their Womp pride. I feel like we did a really good job. I personally just had an away game and I still made it here and I feel like there's a good crowd out here tonight. Mr. Denise was able to come up with securing the field at Archie's. You know, the fact that we're still in Braintree I think is great. Womp Nation is pumped for the season to come no matter where it takes them. I hope we keep on winning, you know, we keep on playing hard and keep on having the fans show up. You know, if we get playing good and then the fans are going to come and then we're all going to be all happy together as, as one Braintree High, one Womp Nation. One, two, three, Womps! Reporting for Womp TV, this is Keely Russo and Emily Linsky. Thank you for checking out our first episode of the year. We will return soon with more reporting on stories in and around Braintree that matter to you. Until then, this has been WAMP TV. TV.